Rick Sounder joins us live now in Denver tonight. Rick, you continue to cover the role that a Colorado company is playing in showing what is actually taking place in Ukraine. Karen, that Colorado company is called Maxar. It used to be known as Digital Globe. Here at MSU Denver, they are studying how that company uses its satellites to collect images from the war in Ukraine. What goes on inside here is often privileged information. Maxar, based in Westminster, operates several satellites which beam photos back down to the earth. And now this is gathering images of all of the cities um, in Ukraine. Adrian White is a senior at MSU Denver. For his final project, he's studying how Maxar collects its pictures, like this one which showed a 40-mile-long Russian line of tanks and other armored vehicles. You know, if there's a convoy coming towards Ukraine, you know, they can see, you know, if the Russians um, are getting closer and closer and where they're setting up. The satellites circle the Earth and can focus where information is needed most. This is from Mariupol, the city under siege by Russian forces, with Ukrainian troops and civilians holed up in a steel factory. Jose Lopez teaches the students after years in the Space Command and with government contractors. I tried to bring that experience from my Air Force career and working with the aerospace companies to my students. It is modern high-tech intelligence gathering with satellites picking out the hidden, like the suspected mass grave. They're moving about 16,000 miles an hour, which sounds very fast, but um, in real time, they're able to still get a clear shot. It is a war fought close up, tracked from space. In case you are wondering, White's project is for a course that is called Orbital Mechanics and Aerospace Systems Simulation. We expect that he'll pass. Live at MSU Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. It sure seems that way, Rick. Thank you.